Harborview recorded their first win of, the, of 2019, clipping UWIFC 1-0 at the Mona Bowl in Wednesday's action from the Red Stripe Premier League. Shamar, Shamar Nearn's first half goal was enough for the stars of the East. Coach Fabian Taylor was not only happy for the win, but relieved his side did not concede, while UWI's Andrew Parrott rude missed chances. Game plan. We, we asked them to sit behind the ball and, 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 and when we win possession, we, we open up and play and we did just that. Got a goal early in the, in the, in the first half and you know, we defended well. Well, at least we're getting more opportunities now. The last time or throughout the most of last year's games, we weren't getting a lot or creating a lot of opportunities. Now that is slowly changing, so I guess the next step now is starting to convert those opportunities. So I'm um, disappointed that we lost. Disappointed in how we lost as well because I, I believe in the first half we were much in control and they scored against a runner play and then just pretty much took over the game, took over the game afterwards. So um, bad result, bad performance. In the days of the early game, Don Beholden also picked up their first win of the new year with a 3 0 goal spree at the expense of Reno at the Froome Sports Complex. The St. Catherine based team was led to victory by a brace from Arette Richards. Lorenzo Dubibad scored the other goal for Dunby Holden. And in the late games at Sports Time, Tivoli Gardens and Humble Lion, uh, well, they were locked in all while Arnett Gardens were up against uh, Portmore United. Now, the league continues on Thursday with Mount Pleasant hosting Waterhouse at the Drax Hall Complex starting at 3 p.m., while Cavalier hosts Montague Bay United at the Stadium East Complex at, uh, starting at 5.